She was a part of a litter of nine puppies abandoned in a house. I'm Greta, and this is Mira's story for GeoBeats. The owners abandoned the house. We think they were kind of running a puppy mill of sorts. Mira was with 14 dogs total. They were found in their crates. Mom was in really rough shape because she was just feeding the dogs and didn't have much for herself. And then I saw the post on Fit Squad Rescue's Facebook page that had a picture of Mira and her eight other siblings got to go meet and immediately Mira came and crawled right into my lap and fell asleep and I was like she's perfect she's our dog she is the biggest love bug her face says everything that she's thinking sometimes her eyes are just like what are you doing she is also the sassiest girl in the world go outside she loves other people and dogs and could play with anybody all day if she could. But she's also incredibly stubborn and advocates for herself really well. Every time she's waiting for a treat, she stomps her feet. She has 12 different talking buttons that we use. Hi. She has a mom button and she'll go hit the mom button multiple times while I'm gone just to ask like, where is she? When is she coming back? Smooches. You want smooches? Come here. Come here! She's usually just a little Velcro dog. She's on my tail all the time. Can I help you? I think I'm her favorite. I've definitely spent the most time with her training, and so I think that kind of strengthens our bond a little bit more than hers with my partner. Tug. Want tug? We hate to be apart from each other. I try to take her everywhere I can. She goes crazy sometimes. She needs at least two walks a day <laughs> to stay settled. But then at other times, she loves to just lounge around and be a couch potato. Now perform surgery. She loves to pick apart her toys. I have what we call our ICU for all of our stuffies, and that's where surgery needs to happen quite often. So there's an elephant, and I went over to our table to start, and she just sat right next to me. This arm. She's gonna be okay. And watched the whole time and cried because she wanted the elephant back and she wanted to make sure he was okay. You have to be gentle. She loves the water. She's gonna be so sad that we're hitting the Minnesota winter here soon, but hopefully she'll like the snow she did when she was a tiny puppy. I love her more than words can describe and we are just so thankful she's in our life. She honestly makes my hard days easier and always knows how to put a smile on my face. Perfect.